Right now at five, tracking Hurricane Laura. The storm is forecast to become a Category 3 hurricane when it makes landfall. And here's a look in Galveston, Texas, where hurricane watches and warnings are now in effect for residents along the Gulf Coast. Let's get right to meteorologist Dave Warren. He's in for Craig Setzer with a new advisory. Dave. Yeah, still moving west northwest 17 miles an hour. What we're finding now is that the uh, wind field here is starting to look a little more symmetric. It's been lopsided, but as it t continues to intensify, we'll see the storm size kind of circle the center of the storm now there. It's 80 mile an hour wind. Uh, the pressure's down to 990 and it's 17 miles an hour moving to the west northwest. It is forecast to turn to the north. The tricky part will be determining when that occurs and it could rapidly intensify intensify here over the next 24 hours. Warnings in effect. There's a hurricane warning, tropical storm warnings on either side and the tropical storm force winds approaching the Louisiana coast well ahead of the center of the storm. There's the old cone. We show you the threat area now, so this will be Wednesday afternoon uh, forecast to become a major hurricane as it turns north, eyeing the Texas coast and Louisiana uh, coast right on the border there, and then it will quickly uh, go to a category one, get caught up in the westerlies and then could break some gusty winds there across the northeast coast this weekend. Uh, there are storm surge warnings in effect. Storm surge about 10 feet expected, maybe higher. The computer forecast models show if it's going straight, it would go between Houston and Corpus Christi, but the turn coming and notice all of these forecast tracks are sort of on the left side of that forecast cone. They may feel that uh, the, the track could be shifted a little farther to the west, uh, but for right now, that is the current uh, position and easily going off to the east. Here is the high resolution visible satellite picture. There is the center of circulation, a little dry air trying to be pulled in. Despite that, is still pretty intense. So we're not seeing the squalls, but we have a few showers out there. Real time Doppler tracking a few lightning strikes just off the coast. Maybe a few showers coming in today, but we have a different type of weather pattern setting up this weekend. I'll look at that when I come back with a complete forecast.